Hello and welcome to this review of the JJRC H6C Mini Quadcopter. After quite a bit of researching, I found that the H6C hasn't been very popular compared to some of the other quads out there. But I think it should be. Based on its functionality and price range, it's not bad at all. This is my very first quadcopter and I'm grateful to Gearbest for sponsoring me in this. And hopefully with the help of future subscribers like you, I might be able to provide more videos relating to quadcopters and so on. This quad is similar to the JJRC F180 but with a built-in HD camera. This little quad is under $60 Canadian. It has a prote protective cage around the motors and props that keeps it in one piece for the most part, depending on the flyer controlling the quad. The props can be removed and replaced with the with small individual pegs, but it seems this quad can fly more stable with the prop guards on. Now the next closest quad that I've found online is the SEMA X11C, which also has a 2 megapixel HD camera. However, based on my own background research, the H6C is better protected compared to the X11C, as well as compared to the more expensive but also more popular quad, the Hubsen X4, which is $100 Canadian. And according to many YouTube videos that can be found online, the H6C's raw video quality seems to be a lot better than the X11C and the X4. These are important things to consider for beginners, to have a nice quad that isn't too pricey, but also able to get a bit of the flying experience, as well as a little bit of aerial video videography. Now I do have to mention that I have had to practice well over 10 to 15 charges of the battery in order to learn just how to fly this quad in my living room going full circle without crashing into anything. This quad is quite durable. I may post some tutorial, tutorial videos on how to practice and what I did to try to get better at flying the quadcopter in the future. I found that with the stock battery at 3.7 volts, 350 milliamp. I have been able to record and fly the quad for just a little bit over four and a half to five minutes. It takes about 15 minutes to charge with the stock charger. I also found that if you are new to quadcopters, I would not recommend flying this outdoors right away. Not until you're able to control the quad to do what you want it to do at any moment indoors. I would also not recommend flying this quadcopter over 20 to 30 meters high in altitude for beginners as the winds may pick it up and you can lose the quad. So one of the main reasons I like this quad is it's very portable and can easily fit into a backpack to take with you on road trips to the beach and so on. The recording function is especially nice to have for making memories with friends, family, you know. Quadcopters are becoming more and more popular but still rare in my area. Uh, how often can a person take videos of themselves or with friends during a trip with a bird's eye view without having to hire expensive helicopter pilots and, and all that. Now with the H6C you can do that for under $70. Yes of course the video quality is not 1080p or super nice compared to some people's preferences as it is a 2 megapixel camera but I think for this price range the functionality of the quad it is worth it for those who are interested in starting or considering a low end and low price range quad that has video capabilities. Overall I would recommend the H6C and then later move on to better quality and more expensive quads for those who want to use the GoPro or Xiaomi Yi action cameras for real HD videos. For the giveaway of an H6C and possibility of winning one yourself just follow the rules in the description down below. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe for future contents when they become available. 